Hey friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 battle series. So we're going to be hopping on to the rank battle in just a moment just to cover the team before we kick into it today. We're going to be playing this Gothitelle team which consists of Gothitelle, the Excadrill, Tokol, Togekiss, Hitmontop and Gigalith. So we've got obviously as you can see the Cassie Berry on the Gothitelle just to take and tank those ghost type attacks a little bit better. Um, help us set up Trick Room because you can see from the team it's going to be pretty Trick Room centric. You've got the Tokol and the Gigalith there. The Gigalith with the Choice Band and then the Tokol with its Charcoal. Both boosting items. Then we've got the Weakness Policy on the Togekiss. Quite a popular item there between that the Scope Lens and the Bibbery Berry. Uh, I don't know which one's more popular probably scope lens but i do really like the weakness policy we can self-proc that ourselves with a our hitmon top that provides fake out support uh, along with the gothitel and um, but it also has bullet punch so we can bullet punch our own togekiss once we've maxed uh, we also get the intimidate support from top so um quite nice overall and um, i'm looking forward to trying it out so without further ado let's select the team and get into it today so we did play the Inteleon team last week, and in between then, uh, I jumped on <laughs> Twitch stream last week, so if you're wondering why my ranking is so low, um, I pretty much just jumped in with uh, an idea on stream, and we started tweaking it along the way, so it didn't go so well, but it was a lot of fun. If you are around, I stream on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, 7pm on a Tuesday, and then 8pm on a Thursday, so... We've got our first opponent, and they are playing a Copraja, a Hatian, um, or oh, Hatterene. Hatterene is how we pronounce it, really. Indeedy, Jellicent, Grimmsnarl, and a Conkledo. So it's kind of Trick Room, the Trick Room. Whose Trick Room does better, though? I feel like if we can get Gigalith and Torkoal and Trick Room, we can do some work. Hatterene's not going to want to take um, anything from Gigalith, especially an Iron Head. Um, it's... And the trapping element that we've kind of got access to as well really does help us out. We've got to be careful around things like Concordeur that does really appreciate the Trick Room as well as that Hatterene and the uh, the Jellicent there. But, uh, and Copper Jar as well. Um, the Steel type in there. But I mean, Copper Jar doesn't really want to be facing down against uh, Torkoal, does it? So, um, okay. Do we deny Trick Room? I don't think we do. I think we just go with our Gothitelle. Do we want to bring Togekiss here? I mean, Togekiss might be nice in the back as a late game thing to have in case Concordeur is a bit of an issue. Um, let's go with Tokol, Gigalith, and locked in just in time. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> on, the, on the money right there. So just locking in in time. Let's see how we get on with this one. Um, I haven't actually played any games with this team, so this is the, the first game, so we're doing this together. You and me, friends. Hopefully it's good, though. I feel like uh, a couple of episodes this week with the team, I'll obviously post the rental code for the team at the end of the week, so do keep an eye out for that if you want to try it out yourselves. But obviously... The ladder is resetting. We are getting new rules um, in just over a week, so we need to. Um, we don't need to be so invested in this format right now with the new inclusions that we're going to be getting at the start of March. So we'll see my opponent lead out with the Jellicent and the Grim Snarl. Um, oh, we didn't lock in in time, so that's a little bit of a shame. Right, what can we do? We've got Blind Hypnosis. We could go for. We could go for a fake out as well with our Gothitelle. Um, but only into the Grim Snarl, and the Grim Snarl probably has got. Um, it's probably got fake out as well. So I mean, we can potentially go for a fake out, and I think we probably want to switch here to. Let's go into Tog. Uh, let's go into Togekiss because we get Togekiss in, um, and we can trap both the Grim Snarl. And the Jellicent. The only worry is here taking a big fat water spout. Now we're playing on the cuff here because we've obviously not locked in our team in time um, in team preview. Which is a little bit of a shame. Hopefully we don't see a water spout. That's my big worry here. No, just a shadow ball. Um, but with the Cassie Berry we'll take that quite comfortably. Um, next turn we can I guess do some stuff. But we can probably Dynamax with the Togekiss. It's just a shame that we haven't got um... We haven't got Hitmontop to self-proc. That's the only problem. Um, now, 
What do we do? What do we do? Do we just go after the Grim Snarl? And go for a blind hypnosis into the Jellicent? I feel like it's not a bad idea. It's not the worst. I don't want to go for Airstream because I think there is always a possibility of the Jellicent. We miss with the Hypnosis and uh, they go for Trick Room uh, to counteract our Airstream, which is something that would make sense for us to do. We could see Grim Snarl go for a combination of something like Light Screen, I guess, or Thunder Wave into the Togekiss. Thunder Wave doesn't make so much sense right now because you've got such a heavy Trick Room orientated team. Um, so I would imagine screens, yeah, there's the screen, so we have to get around that a little bit. And we'll get the Starfall, I don't think this will take out, but nah, nah. Does a nice chunk of damage though, and we do get the Misty Terrain up, which, oh, I can't believe it, I can't believe we've hypnosis Ah, uh, what do we do, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we would have been better off going for it. Just another Shadow Ball going to come out. What a waste of a turn with Gothitel, But that's that's what happens when you don't pay attention, people. Um, okay, do we want to keep Gothitel around for a little bit later? Mm. Mm, we could get Excadrill in. Um, and do we... Uh, the thing is, I'd rather keep Excadrill with its Sash, I think, for what my opponent potentially could have in the back. Um, now, we could double into Jellison, just go for a Psychic, and do we want to go for an Airstream? I still don't really want to go for the Airstream, though. I don't want to boost our speed, especially just, like, just knowing what my opponent's team could be. So... If we can get the Jellicent here, that would be amazing. I don't think we're going to be able to. I'm not behind the light screen. It's just so fat. Such a fat Pokemon. We'll probably lose Gothitelle here, but hopefully if we don't see a Trick Room. <laughs> Curse body kicking in. Um, okay, now special attack drops. We'll see where the Spirit Break. But yeah, that's fine. Because now we can get Excadrill in. Um, or we can get Torkoal in. We do lose our only method of speed control through our Gothitelle um, if we're not wanting to go down. Mm. We could get Excadrill in and we could go for a sword stance. And then we become quite threatening then. Let's do that. I think we've got to try and get a mod together right now where we can start cutting through my opponent's team. Um... We're not going to be able to get rid of the Jellicent, but I think if we can get a Sword Stance up, we might be alright. Uh, and we can go for it. The problem is going for the Airstream again. That's the issue with the, the Jell. I mean, if we double into Jellicent, actually, that might be the better idea because that's the only... That is the only Trick Room threat in the field. And I think if it hasn't got a Recovery Berry in Citrus or... One of the super berries we should be able to get it between a combination of yeah this that's really unfortunate uh there's no berry there but we are going to be able to get the jealousy so that's kind of nice um and we don't see a reflect there which could have hampered us a little bit do you get a crit when it doesn't matter which is cla <laughs> classic toga kiss spirit break gonna come out again and i mean i don't mind this too much because once we've like got rid of the dynamax we haven't been boosting our speed or anything we're quite capable of just switching Togekiss out at this point. Dynamax is going to end uh, and we still have to contend with something that my opponent is going to Dynamax as well. Um, but And I can't really yawn here as well because I think there's too many turns of the terrain left. So yeah. Um, now we could Sword Stance. Could iron, I mean we could Iron Head and just go for a Dazzling Gleam. The hat Hatterene is probably going to max, I'd imagine. Yeah, there's the, the Bibbery Berry, which makes a lot of sense. St still no Reflect, though, which is good. Um, and this will get rid of the Grim Snarl, but it, it, the only issue is we see the Trick Room now, and it does give my opponent a free switch into something. Wow. Did we not get the Grim Snarl? Wow, that was a weak Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> Very weak Dazzling Gleam. Okay, okay. Um, I think we have to follow me. And we have to go for another Iron Head. Which, 
because you, you kind of worry about the the mystic uh, or the the max flare really. Uh, we just got to hope that we can take a um, we can take the the Hatterene down with an Iron Head, even maxed. I think we should be able to. Um, the follow me going to be super useful here. So I think we're just like this match is just showing like the basics of how good Togekiss is support next to something like Excadrill. Um, but the Grimmsnarl, I'm like, it's doing nice work, isn't it, with that Spirit Break? It's such a good move. I think one that's not really looked on enough. The Max Flare coming out. Um, we do take that, so that's quite nice. Um, and the sun is up. But if we get rid of that. I had a ring now. That would be perfect because the trick room's up. We've got Torkoal to come in. It's going to be slower than the Kopraja. Come on, get it. Yeah, and now I think because the trick room's there for us to um, take advantage of, I think we're going to be able to, to close this one out. So we get away with this one by the skin of our teeth, I think. But um, because it could have went really, really badly for us. We made a few mistakes in the early game. We didn't lock in the team that we actually wanted to bring here, but it turned out to be not too bad, but the only thing that could have went wrong would be the Concordeur coming in. Um, but I mean, it's still alright, isn't it? It sh still should be alright. Um, depends what the Conk goes for. I think I'm going to actually go for a Sword Stance here, and obviously I want to go for an Eruption. Um, we could see the Conk go for a Mac Punch, but it's not going to do that. That's fine. We should get rid of the Grim Snarl now. The Light Screen's going to run out in a couple of turns, so that will help us. Um, we're going to see, 100%, we're going to see the um, the Flame Orb activate, but that that's fine, because I mean, at least it's not a Sold Vest. It means that our damage output is a is a lot better and by just taking advantage of this turn where it is protecting we can boost up with Excadrill and now we've got two really big threats on the field and I think that's what you want to be doing um, in situations like this you want to be kind of like trying to split your your opponent's kind of attention as much as you can in these sorts of situations um, ba -ba 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 -bum -bum. <laughs> how many turns of trick room we've got left I don't know let's I mean it's just iron head Iron Head and uh, Eruption. A Mac Punch will hurt Torkoal for sure, but it means that if the if you're targeting Torkoal, it means that Excadrill's still got his sash going on. We're not even going to see that Hammer Arm coming out. Oh, <laughs> the big avoid, and then we uh, clean up. So yeah, good game to my opponent. Like I say, there was a few, uh, it's just a little bit of rust for us to kick off with today, but um, too much talk in team preview. Um. And then just not paying attention to our max moving and hypnosis thing. But, you know, it's classic. Classic. Classic Osiris play, isn't it? <laughs> Caught on camera. No. Um, yeah, but I think we managed the, the situation all right. The trick room going up for us definitely helped us. And just, I think, making the decision earlier on where we didn't switch in the extra drill, where we made the, the decision to make sure that we, our sash was intact. Um, and I think that's the, the big thing to make sure because it just gives us that security later in the game, didn't it? When um, when we wanted to utilize extra drill a little bit more. So we've got our next opponent and we will get straight into it and hopefully we'll not time out here. We've got Rotom Wash, Togekiss, Torkoal and Dragapult. Corbin Knight and the Grimmsnarl. So another Grimmsnarl, but a bit of a different team here. We've got a, a definite Trick Room Mon there that can perform well in Trick Room, which is the Torkoal, but no Trick Room setter on my opponent's team. Um, probably going to be looking at speed control methods from the, the Corbin Knight and the Togekiss. Probably Max Airstream on both of those. Um, and then the other one is going to be Grimmsnarl with potentially Thunder Wave there. So what are we going to do? I mean, going Trick Room and Gigalith here feels like it could be really good. And then Torkoal. So, Togekiss again is pretty nice uh, for us. We just got to worry a little bit about the, the Rotom Wash that could be a little bit problematic for us. Um, so, I think we will go Gothitelle. Not really worried about the Dragapult, to be honest. Um... Do we go Togi? I think we probably want Togekiss. Do we want Excadrill though? 
I don't know. Don't think so. Don't think so. We'll go Giggly. And we'll go Torco. Yeah, let's lock in with these four. And let's get into it. Five seconds to spare. I thought I would have like 30 seconds, but no. Talking through <laughs> these things, the time flies, my friends. So let's see how we get on in this one. Hopefully we can get a double, a double W in this episode. That would be very nice. Um, and then that sets us up nicely for the next episode later in the week. So we've got Grimmsnarl and Dragapult for my opponent. Uh, this lead kind of indicates to me that uh, Dragapult could be weakness policy. Um, we do need to worry about potentially the Grimmsnarl faking out I got the Talon. I think fake out from the Grimmsnarl when it's paired with Dragapult makes a lot of sense. So, I mean, we go for the Trick Room. Um, we could go for a Yawn into Dragapult for sure. That's not a bad option at all. I think, yeah, we'll do that. Because I think Dragapult does max here. But Gothitelle should take. Ooh. <laughs> should take. Should take. We should have followed me. Oh no! The thick tears. Do we take this though with a Cassie Berry? Depends if it's Life Orb or not. We might do. Yeah, we take it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Life Orb. Okay. I thought maybe it might do a bit more, but we do we do take it, so that's fine. I mean, Togekiss is in a nice position. We get a Trick Room up, so I mean, we can't really complain, can we? It's whether or not we want to... Uh, we want to max Togekiss again. Because right now... Let's see. That's my opponent got. That would be a bit of a problem. Obviously, the Corvin Knight. Okay, but we got we got tall call, so it's not the worst thing in the world, and we can get rid of the dragapult with a max star fall. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted just to do bring Gigalith in and max and go max star fall into um, into dragapult, and then if my opponent does decide to bring Rotom or something a bit later, it means that like gigalith has got a little bit more protection with the the Mystic Terrain. We get rid of dragapult, which is pretty nice for us because it's going to be one of my opponent's like big threats for them to be able to do big damage to us so Dragapult gonna withdraw we'll probably see that later on in the game so we really want to be taking advantage now of our, um, our max turns and our trick room turns as well and I think because we've got something like Banded G Gigalith sitting next to us uh, it's going to be doing a lot of damage even if the Rotom on the opposite side of the field goes for um the Dynamax. I think the only thing we need to worry about a little bit is the the fake tears into Toggle Kiss and then the um, the, the Max play from um, we are going to see a foul play that does a heck of a lot of damage because of the band there on our cells. Okay, but that's, that's a nice chunk of damage, isn't it? And we do get the Misty Terrain out. I think, I think, if we go for Max, mm, Max Starfall, Rock Slide again, I think we still get the Rotom. It's whether or not uh, we can, mm, I don't know. I think, like, Fake Tears could be a bit, no, I think, I think we still get it. I think we just lock into Rock Slide here. We should take another Foul Play from the Grim Snarl, and we'll go for the Max Starfall again. So let's see. Let's see what my opponent does. But I think one of the big things about getting your Trick Room set up and then getting something like Gigalith onto the field, especially when you're holding the band, it was such a good Pokemon like back in the 2017 season. It was such a big Pokemon like midway through that, that season where it just really started doing a lot of work and it was, um, it was such a pain to deal with. And it's because you get this, this board position set up with it and you can just start doing like so much damage as we'll see in a minute this Grim Snarl is going to switch out what's coming in Cold Call okay I don't really mind I don't mind this at all as long as we don't see the Rotom is the Rotom going to max? no? wow okay well stuff is going to go go hard now We still got plenty of trick room turns left. 
we have to be a little bit worried about the um, <clears throat> the Torkoal because it does have Solar Beam and it can throw out some big fat damage onto Gigalith here. It's like a, it can probably kill us now that the, the, the sand's not up. We haven't got a special defense boost. But I mean that damage there on the switching is pretty nice. So let's see, is it going to be Grimmsnarl? No, it's Dragapult. Draggy. Oh, we've still got one turn. <laughs> um, mm. I think what I probably would prefer to do here is... Do I sack Gothitelle? I think I do, because really... I'm not too worried about... I think we go for another Max Starfall into the Dragapult, just to try and get rid of it. Um, I'm not really worried about an eruption now from the Torkoal. If we sack Gothitelle here, it just means we get Gigalith back in and the sand's up, so it will mean that um, we should take attacks a little bit better from the Torkoal, but we are probably going to see it max. Um, oh, Dragapult's maxing. That's interesting. Is it going to max guard? Because it, it will go, it will 100% go down. Um, it depends how it's trained, I guess, but yeah, it has to max guard, I think. Trying to stall out these trick room turns. There's the solar beam, which will take down Agothatel. But I think by getting our Gigalith back onto the field, it almost forces the. Um, forces the Grim Snarl switch, really. Um, and this is our last turn of our Dynamax, so um, we'll get Gigalith back in. Just to disrupt the sun. And it's going to be interesting to see whether or not a Rock Slide, or maybe we go for something else. Maybe we go for Earthquake. Well, the Rock Slide stabs, so we're going to get a bit more damage off. It's just whether or not... Now we'll go, we'll go Rock Slide and Dazzle. Um, I don't know if it, that's gonna be that combination is gonna be enough to get the Dragapult. We'll see though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll soon find out. Um, but the Torkoal's <laughs> in a really tight position here. It stays in and goes for maybe a Heat Wave or a Flamethrower. It's not really gonna be doing too much. It's something like Togekiss or Gigalith really at this point, or it either switches out and then the Grimmsnarl comes in. Oh wow. Okay, so Earth Power. We do take it though, just about. Uh, which is nice. Let's see what the damage is like. Okay, now this is a single target. Single target. Dazzling Gleam. Can we take it? Can it take it? Oh, just about, but the Sand Up is going to help us. Max Phantasm coming out into Togekiss. We should take this. Yeah. And then the Grim Snarl to come back onto the field. But the thing is with the Grim Snarl, I think if it had Fake Out, I would have used it earlier on um so we've still got follow me so we can just use togekiss as the fodder here just to uh but the li <laughs> the life orb and the uh, sand damage actually enough so poor old dragapult not strong enough to take this uh dimensions actually turned back to normal which is a little bit unfortunate for my opponent because if they could have hung on that one more turn they would have been in a really strong position with their dynamax pokemon bringing in grim snarl as well which we know has the the fake tears um, but now we can just, uh, we're locked into uh, Rock Slide, of course we are, of course we are, um, and I mean, we'll just Dazzling Gleam and Rock Slide, we'll probably foul play into Gigalith, but just cancelling the battle, so that's a nice second win for us today, so off to a really good start this week with a really strong team, I think Trick Room's a really good archetype in this format, and I think it's really something that you need to tech for, because it's for probably the first time in a lot of years we've got really viable means of utilizing and setting up hard trick room as an option now yeah i would say this isn't like hard hard trick room but really it kind of is we've got modes where we can play out of trick room um, but we're primarily always going to want to get a trick room set up in these matches and we've got enough here to to help us do that um at the minute so it's been a little bit of fun I hope you've enjoyed the episode, my friends. Do leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on today's games. And uh, 
any thoughts you've got on where you would maybe go with the team if you're changing things up or what aspect you'd like to see in our next episode. Uh, hopefully we can get the weakness policy, bullet punch, Togekiss hit him on top going in our next episode. So do stay tuned for that. That'll be up later this week. And like I said, I'll uh, release the rental team with that as well. So... Have a great rest of your day, my friends. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this episode, do drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, VG content, and uh, I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.